Okay, sorry about that. Fixed all my problems right at once there. Okay, and we are ready to go. So emotions are running high. Do a walking meditation to kind of chill out those emotions, figure out stuff, helps you to process. Also, again, helpful for your body and, you know, on numerous different levels, you know, getting that fresh air and sunshine, a little bit of everything. Okay, walking meditation. And everybody can do it. That's the beautiful thing. Okay, so Divine Feminine, well, not everybody can walk. I just, you know, most everybody can walk. So let's see what we have here. Okay, we're starting off with the Illusionist or the Knight of Stones. Okay, so this would be our Pentacles energy, our Earth. Okay, so this is very, um, what kind of, it's very, I'm getting this very free, freedom-loving vibe. You're, it's almost like wanting people to, um, make people think that um, you're a certain way, like a certain level of spirituality or this or that, okay? And it's this is absolutely following through with who you really are to pay attention to it at a deeper level, night and day, and looking inward to figure it out even more which will make you even more happy, okay? But it is this peace. It's not just the idea of peace. It's the manifestation of peace. Do you see that? This is the manifestation. This is the day and night. This is being, this is, this is being in the groove, you guys. Okay, this is how I love this deck that's coming across this way because um, it's a little bit avant-garde, you know, it's a little bit unique, especially with the stones and the different names for everything. But this is amazing. This is one of the best pentacles. And, you know, and a night too. Just a lowly old night. Still, you know, experiencing all these wonderful things. Still making change. Still doing things. Still inspiring. You know, that, that speaks to the divine feminine. You know, what, what we're doing may seem small in certain ways. But we know when we look at it in the right way, we think about it in the right way, that it is huge. What we're doing is huge. And we are helping people. And you have to hype yourself up to kind of remain in that motivated stance where yes we're, we're doing this you know and part of that is doing the work and actually feeling the true healing effects because we can learn tarot we can get excited about healing walking you know eating breathing like all of these things we, we can get excited but then it's like and we think we're doing it's like giving lip service to stuff you know, oh, I'm interested in this. I'm interested in healing. So you're learning about it. You're watching the videos, but you're not actually following through and like doing it. Okay. But this is starting to figure it out. Starting to, it's because we've been on the journey lately, right? This is taking everything we've learned and going through the door. We do have a doorway here. Okay. Leveling up using these days and nights and days and nights where we're do we're practicing our craft which is healing healing it has to come first everything begins within change begins within okay you want to change anything you go within and this is doing it but also having a good balance in your everyday life this is showing up in the daytime you know bring home the vegan bacon and then coming home and, you know, spending your, some time in the evening doing some work. And these are just ideas, you know, but yeah, doing some shadow work, doing that inner child healing, following that bliss, meditating and just seeing what comes out for you personally, finding your own way to meditate, keeping journals that track all these different things, you know, that we always talk about. Okay. But the focus is coming on the passion. Um, there's a little bit of a waiting energy that we've had for a while. It's still, we only have one bird in the empty nest. Okay. But the passion is there. The, the growth is there. The fruitful is there. This is a spring card, you know, in the middle of winter. Right. Um, but the change and you see how these two together and the direction, the change that we have here that is being, you know, again, this peace, this meditation, staying conscious, staying in the right mindset, in the right mode, in the right emotional frequencies is leading towards this growth. And again, this is speaking to not freaking out because you're not hearing from your person enough right now. You know, this is not that energy. This is happy. Mama is getting this ready for Papa to come home or, you know, whatever. 
It's like preparations. Get ready. If you thought you were going to see your person next week, you have a date for Thursday or whatever, like what would you do? Literally, what would you do? Get ready. This is time. It's time. Excitement. This is awesome. I love it. Happy holidays to you. Okay. Stay positive and always expect these things. Always expect the best. Always expect what you want. And don't, you know, don't be disappointed. What is it? Plan for the worst. Expect the best. Prepare for the best. You know what I mean. <laughs> okay. So again, this, this next card, we have the nine of scrolls here and next to our two of spirals. This is just, again, kind of that warning as to don't worry. Don't, don't overreact. Okay. You're learning so much. You're growing so much. There are messages being accepted from the God, you know, from the universe, from the spirits, from the spirit guides, whatever you want to call them, angels, etc. I don't care how you, you know, you, we can, we can still talk in these terms with our ideas. We just have to be open, open-minded. Okay. And be open-minded to this change. Be open-minded to all the work that you're doing, actually working, actually doing something. You have to believe this is the first step to everything. Peter Pan, all these movies, fairy dust, and all, it's all like right there for us. We just have to believe it starts in the mind. That's the belief. That's the holistic law of attraction. Mind, emotions, actions, every day, follow through, long term, okay? And don't be addicted to sadness. Don't check any of that stuff at the door, okay? Go within here and definitely recommend some shadow work on this one, okay? Shadow work, probably uh, into some inner child healing as well. This is just feeling like it's a heavy, heavy burden. Something that's been around for a long time. Again, kind of this addiction to sadness. Kind of this, oh, this, um, you know, something that got in there, that got in your mind, that got in your emotion, emotional body, and it just stuck. Something stuck that wasn't supposed to be there. Some kind of, you know, oh, this is deduction, reasoning, um, influence, idea, whatever it is. Belief, thoughts, and expectations, like we always talk about. Okay, so moving on. All of these are in reverse, so very important and or in the future, okay? Usually a little bit of both, okay? So we've got more because of the, see how we have the purple here? And this means that whenever we do this work, it's going to help us fly. Because this is also black. It's black and, well, it's black and purple. But anytime I see black, I'm like, oh, this is shadow work. Um, so it's, and it's deeper inner work. And they're both scrolls too, going from the nine to the two of scrolls okay so again with Capricorn we can have sort of a refinement getting more just getting better um, getting things be in better order okay and this is what we're gonna go through during these next few days weeks whatever you know take it as it resonates for you and maybe come back and think about it later we don't know time doesn't matter you know till afterwards when you can really measure it but um, you don't know how long something's going to change, but you know how much energy you want to give to it because you are in this waiting game, waiting, preparing, getting ready to see your person. And you don't want to be, you know, having anything, any hangups that don't need to be there because you just want to really get to the point where you guys can learn each other and grow and, you know, be, be happy together um, and just spend that time together on in a positive frequency, which is what the world needs. Okay. The world needs that. So take this excitement and run with it. Take this excitement that you have, you know, to again, like now that it's kind of like now that we've figured ourselves out a little bit, now that we've came back from our vision quest, now that we know, you know, what we're doing and we have some of our, you know, we've gotten better in, in many ways. We feel a little bit more confident. So we're coming and, and peaceful on the inside. So we're wanting to kind of work on the relationship and come back and, and we're getting that feel or, you know, it's a process of, of working it out. But again, there's this belief, thought, expectation that's in our way that's going to take the shadow work to be able to kick, kick, kick these other seven scrolls to the curb. Okay. Some of these thoughts, beliefs, and expectations are good. Some of them are not. Figure out which ones are, you know, this is again, the process of shadow work. I've been talking a lot about it, explaining it in lots of different videos. So if you watch the videos, you can kind of start to learn how to do it. Um, but there's also the program where you can actually get like right to it and figure it out all the best ways, all the best tips, 30 videos. It's probably 10 to 
20 hours worth of video explaining the holistic law of attraction, shadow work, and the inner child healing, which will lead you to getting in union with your person, okay? So we have the storyteller after our two of scrolls. So what this is very clearly saying is that, okay, so we're waiting for, we're figuring stuff out about ourselves. We're getting our stuff in order. We're waiting for our person. We're going to use the shadow work to clear out some negative vibes that we have and negative thoughts, beliefs, and expectations that are leading us repetitively astray and making us sad and making us mad and not, you know, getting what we want, which is our person. Okay. On some way, shape and form, you know, it's, it's been a long road and it's easy to get hung up on some of this stuff, but we know again, back to basics, the shadow work, shadow work helps us relate to other people. Shadow work reminds us that we don't have to see things in this single minded way. Shadow work expands our mind and helps us to see things in another way. And when you see things in a new way, Okay, you do not cry over spilt milk. Okay, and you you get the silver linings here. We have silver linings coming through as well. So you don't cry over spilt milk because you know that milk got spilt for a reason. And it's, of course, plant-based milk. So anyway, just throwing that out there. So our next two cards are the storyteller. And then we have the seven of spirals. Let's go on this side. Okay. So this is a very, very interesting. I am getting a lot of Capricorn energy coming through, even though we're not having overt um, earth kind of patterns, but there are some pentacles in here. But this, um, oh my gosh, my kid's yelling at his Xbox. So this card after the two of scrolls is all about after we, get, we learn some of the shadow work, what you're gonna be able to do is um, it's gonna be a very clear and very direct um, kind of message and it's like the message is going to get through to your person and their messages are going to get through to you the work that they've been doing is also going to come back and affect you and you're both going to affect the world a lot of growth a lot of um, again um, kind of coming into like again there's a little bit of Capricorn energy here if you look closely we've got some circles here some pentacles down here it's really actually hard to see it looks like in the And there we go. Okay, so see those pentacles at the bottom kind of supporting. This is about the balance though. Okay, this is the hermit. And so the light here is coming from within. This is, you know, this is everything. And it, it's going within and it starts with the shadow work. And then it goes down into the inner child healing. And once you get to the inner child healing, that's it, that is what's going on here. Like that's the transformation. That's the beauty. It's, it's the old and the young at the same time. Again, inner child, it doesn't matter how old you are, you know, you're, you're able to be at peace with who you ever were. You know what I mean? We all, and everybody has, everybody has this work to do. Let's just put it that way. It doesn't matter how old you are. Okay. But the shadow work is very clear coming through to really help you to shine. And I think it's going to help your mission as well. It's going to really help ignite. Once you do the work, it's going to help ignite your passion even more. Okay. And at the bottom, we have nine of mirrors, which is about relationships. Okay. So that's our overlying, underlying. I'm going to put that on the other side. We're going to take three more. Okay. So our silver lining, our silver lining is the, the inner healing work that we're doing. That's the silver lining of all the old problems, all the old dramas. Okay, and it's now, it's kind of like, you're so, well, I gotta get some more clarification on this seven of spirals here. What is going on? Okay, so we got the nine of stones here. Again, got that earthy Capricorn energy coming through. Okay, one more. Oh, lovely. Itchy nose. Okay. So we're doing that shadow work, we're changing, we're going within, and it's setting it's setting ourselves up with security. We're feeling a little bit more secure, even though our passion, our wants are changing right now, okay? This is almost like a wait and see, wait till we figure things out a little bit, kind of gum it up. You know how bears do that gumming thing? They like see if something's moving, playing, you know, they kind of play with stuff. Um, check it out, you know, see what's going on. Don't make any, it's like, it's like being that strong, protective person, but don't make any rash decisions. 
okay? But the healing is going to guide you, and it's going to give you this sense of total peace, security, nothing can fuck, nothing can mess with me, whatever. Um, but yeah, this is, I just want to show you guys this one more time. It is just so freaking powerful. This is your life. See how these are, these trees are reaching out and it's almost like the lungs. Like this is, this is like, this is everything we need. It's going within right there to inspire and captivate. And yeah. Okay. Here's, here's the other thing here. The bear is the masculine and this is our divine feminine. So she's doing the work first and getting that far within. And when she gets, when she, when you reach the inner child healing, your show you back together your person your masculine is going to be entirely fixated on you and all of your magic then they're going to be able to see it it's going to be this awakening after the hibernation where oh my gosh i didn't even know what was going on it's like i didn't know you were now you're transformed into this into this beautiful you know divine being from what you were before you know which was this so, you know, we want, 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 wait, 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 wait. And we're going to cry, 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 cry until we actually do the work. The work will enlighten us. The work will help us to breathe easier every day. Help us to grow, learn, shine, possibly even again into the mission and making money off of the money. It's like making money. I had to be like that because it sounds bad making money off of the healing that you're doing. But I mean, yeah, this is how, this is how people operate, you know, counselors or like somebody who do like if, whenever you learn something like that, you want to share it, you want to help it and helping other people is much needed. So of course it can be, you know, a, uh, a business, a job, a career for you, um, in the future. And I feel like whenever you and your partner come together, that's going to be a next step after that and it really is going to help you kind of build up a nest egg that's it that's it's the only place that we're going here with this and with this it, it, this is i love this card because it's like okay you know we've got our little little paradise garden we've got our little nymph here playing his music a little bit carefree okay a little bit perfect it's like do we have perfection right now or are we gonna come into it later you know what I mean? But this is coming as about being um, at peace with yourself. And it's like, you're going to get there. You're going to do this work and get to a point. It's not to say you'll ever be able to just stop doing shadow work once you get started. Because shadow work is something you do all the time. But you get that inner child healing out of the way. And I was talking about that in the last video too. How it can be difficult to do the inner child healing. But right now it's so critical. It's so crucial for, for this transformation in transforming you know, and getting what, well, getting, you know, coming away from this, oh, there's no communication, low communication, heartache, bullshit, you know, and getting to the point where a person is entirely captivated with us, like they're seeing us in a new way for the new time. They're seeing all of us and then being able to move forward and be able to make things work, have this passion that grows and even grows between you and your partner on how to share this, these new revelations, how to share this positive energy with the world, which is what the world needs so it only makes sense that we would figure out ways to get compensated for it because that's going to make it sustainable and that's how we're going to actually, you know, when, when things get big enough, you, I mean, it's like you got to hire on a whole new team. You got to figure something out. So this is us stepping up to the plate, realizing who we are. Okay. You, you know, you need to, we need to do some um, work on the thoughts that we have and about ourselves mainly because that's what's. Uh, setting us up for how we act with other people. Okay, so remember, it's a mirror. These are these are mirrors instead of cups because because you know we're always looking in the mirror, and the way people treat you is the way that you know you really either again treat yourself, are treating yourself, or think that people should you know expect that people should be treating. And that's why we do the shadow work. That's why we go within to make these changes. Deep inner child healing is perfect right now. It's a perfect time. We've got the moon in Cancer. All the other. Um, alignment still having Mars and Scorpio gives us some good depth. And I think this is why it's like, just go in, go inward right now. So again, check the program at claryberry.com and use these gifts. And this is just this really like light, airy feeling of freedom that you're going to feel after you do the work. You're going to feel so open and honest with yourself. Like nothing is bad. Like really just 
really just feeling who you are and loving yourself, being in love with yourself and fully supporting your own self, which is going to therefore help you be supported and be loved at a deeper level by other people. It's going to help your happiness. Everything's changing. Everything's growing. Stay connected with your spirit guides. You're on the right path. Stay grounded. Keep doing the work. Okay. Keep walking. All right. Be fair. Be fair to yourself. Don't just sit around waiting. Okay. Don't just sit around waiting. This is time for you to know what is true. Weigh it out. Go. You got to go within. Figure this stuff out. Are we keeping it or not? Throw it out. Okay. If not, throw it out. Bear down. Bear minimum. Bear essentials. Responsible, organized. Capricorn energy. Okay. Refinement, refinement, refinement. Growth, evolution, awakening, embarking. Much love, many blessings. Take care. I will talk to you guys soon. Be sure to like, stay subscribed, etc. Hit the bell. Much love, many blessings. Talk to you soon. Bye.